Well, one of the most fun things to design with Kiva Planks is ball runs. In this series of make-alongs, I'll show you the basics for making your ball runs exciting and dynamic, from shoots, to ball dispensers, to funnels, to bounce plates. Today, I'm going to show you how to build tracks, shoots, and trestles. So find a nice big open space on the floor or on a table, and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to build a track. And when starting out with building ball runs, I like to think about what I want the ball to do. So the problem is the ball is not moving, and I want to figure out how to get the ball to move. So my first question is, how do I accomplish that? So the first way I'm going to show you that is with a track. And when starting with building a track, a tip is to use gentle slopes. And the reason why we do that is gentle slopes and slower speeds make it easier to control the ball movements. And it makes the ball go slower, so it kind of it makes your ball run last longer as well. So I'm just starting out with a simple track by doing one and then two stacking and three. And I'm going to place my planks flat on the track like this and stack them. And the thing with ball runs as well is you want to be able to move your planks and test out different um, positions and things with your planks. So after I put the tracks there, I can let the tracks come all the way down onto the floor. Tracks are great because they provide precise ball control. And when you are positioning your tracks, something to think about are the wider your tracks are, the farther apart they are, the slower your ball is going to go. If you have them closer, it will go faster, but you wanna be careful if you ever create any zigzags in your track like this, and you have a very narrow track, it's more likely that the ball will leave the track. So you just wanna keep testing it out and making sure that the track is the correct distance apart. So this is, this is an example of a flat track. You can also do an edge track, which means putting your planks on an edge like this. And you want to, again, this is trial and error. So if you test it out and your ball maybe f comes off a little bit, you want to maybe ex move some of your planks out a little bit more. The nice thing about edge tracks are if you want to create any curves with your track, this is a good way to do that. So let's test that out and see if that works. And it does. So um, you can experiment with curves and zigzags with tracks like this. If you wanted to make two tracks, you definitely can do that just by making, moving one over and adding another track. And you can try experimenting by having one straight track and one zigzag and see which one ends first. So let's try these out. So it looks like the blue one might have picked up some speed with the zigzags. The next thing I'm going to show you is a shoot. And a shoot is a basic way to, a very basic way to move the ball. And it adds stability by creating an edge on your track. So to make a shoot, you're gonna lay two planks and remember, having a gradual slope is good. And we're going to create some sides with that. To add stability, you can add a double plank on the sides. Let's try that out. There we go. 
you can start combining different tracks. So you can perhaps start with a shoot and then move into a flat track like this. And again, you'll want to test out to see the check the distance between the shoots. And that seems to work. So this track is built on the flat surface. If you wanted to elevate your track, that is what we call a trestle. A trestle is a horizontal frame that is used to support a flat surface. So I'm going to keep these planks here because this will create our slope and we're going to place planks horizontally. When you're setting up a plank horizontally, you want to angle your plank because that adds more stability rather than keeping them parallel to each other. So I'm going to lay one here. And let's go ahead and add a track, a flat track to this one. And let's test that out. Okay, so we got that one. And if you wanted to elevate it even more, you can create a second layer, a second trestle. And notice that the slope change in height is done on the bottom so that both the upper and the lower tracks are sloping. If you did it on this one and you just had flat planks there, it wouldn't cause this one to slope. So now we're going to add the second track on top. And then you can have two balls going at the same time. Fun stuff. So now it's your turn to use your imagination and expand on those basic concepts that I've just shown you. We did tracks, shoots, and trestles, and now you can start experimenting with your own designs. And the thing about ball runs is it is just a series of small experiments, and you're problem solving while having fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you are building your your um, ball runs, make sure you take pictures or videos so you can see what you've accomplished. And we'd love to see what you create with that so you can share those with us on social media. We can't wait to see what you create.